Hello students, I am Tormoy. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry by Mystery of Molecules. So today we will discuss an important topic on heterocyclic chemistry. So that is Pell-Nor synthesis of furan. Okay. So this is actually a main reaction to obtain furan from 1,4-dicarbonyl compound. So today we will discuss the retrosynthesis approach to prepare this furan derivative. Uh, second, the driving force for the reaction. Third, the mechanism. And at the end, some examples. In this context, one important point I have mentioned that is from 1,4 dicarbonyl compound. So, a simple question comes how to obtain 1,4 dicarbonyl compounds. I will very shortly explain in during the example about this, but actually, I will explain these in details the ways you can have 1,4 dicarbonyl compounds in another video. And that will be uploaded in the playlist having preparation of organic molecule discussion approach that playlist. Fine. So this is today's topic. Okay. So let's start. And in the meantime, I will always suggest, please always think in case of heterocyclic compound, how to do retrosynthesis by yourself. It is very important for you. So before going to that, retrosynthesis as I told for one foot dicarbonyl compound. So how to think that? See, this is a furan molecule, means it is a cyclic ether. So, this is a cyclic ether with double bond. This is the important thing. So, if I say cyclic ether, then the next question comes. Its corresponding alcohol, it could be prepared. So, the corresponding alcohol is, so this is the substitution just these these sorry corresponding alcohol is this is OH and this is OH double bond so here minus water may result in this so if you think that okay this is the region then the question is actually enone so it will instantly tautomerize to the corresponding keto form so this, 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 this. So this is actually a 1,4 dicarbonyl compound. Because this is 1, 2, 3, 4. Never confuse. For example, if I have given this is methyl, this is also methyl. I will explain this example later on. Then generally we calculate that okay, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. It is true. That, that rounding should be like that, but I am not focusing on the substitution part. I am focusing on the distance of the main point of interest, means this carbonyl. That's why I am saying it's a 1 for dicarbonyl compound. Means carbonyl compound are situated in 1 for position. Okay. So this we understood the retrosynthesis type. So now the question is how to convert this, means the mechanism. So Okay, I'll explain. Okay, so how this dehydration could be achieved? Dehydration could be achieved using different reagents like phosphoric acid, sulfuric acid, polyphosphoric acid, polyphosphoric acid. Acetic anhydride, acetic anhydride, etc., or ion exchange resin, etc., dehydrating reagent. Okay, so how this reaction happens? Okay, so I think it is better that I will give you the example along with I will explain how this reaction. So this is the way means reagent needed to dehydrate and resulted into the preparation of this phenol compound. So wait. Okay. Now you can see the preparation of dimethyl furan. So similarly question is that it should be obtained from corresponding one for dicarbonyl compound as I told sometime before. This is this is. Now how to get this? We can I will in the next video, I will explain about the means the retrosynthesis video details, but simple strategy is to break this bond. So, how? So, one part should be electrophilic delta plus and one part should be delta minus nucleophilic. This is the thing. See, 
so this is the methyl having this this is a plus delta plus electrophilic and this is delta minus nucleophilic so this is the same same molecule symmetrical thing having different could be done using iodine so let me go through details so first of all this could be done and if when i'm saying it's nucleophilic then it is instead of simple carbon lino it can generate anodide under base and carbon will be here but beta 2 prepare this is the active methylene group that generates the anion easily stabilizes and in terms of iodine it converts so let's focus on this so our focus is methyl that's why we will take ethyl acetoacetate o e t okay so we know that this hydrogen it contains two hydrogen this has a basis acidity near about i'm not sure about 9 or 10 like that so this would be obstructed easily okay like metallic sodium or you can say sodium hydride or other bases okay so what happens this will be obstructed or you can use sodium ethoxide like that also so if this is abstracted the carbon ion generated at this position this is OET carbon ion and this carbon ion is resonance stabilized. How? See, first of all, in this way, one double bond here, O minus, this is O OET, and another could be other side means, means it can come here, it can come, it can open so. This double bond, this double bond, this O minus O E T. Fine. This means resonance stabilized, stable carbon ion. So it can form easily. See, so on situation is that okay, this is formed, we understood. This can undergo reaction. So right now, see the nucleophile part. This part we have prepared. This job is done. Now, how this part could be prepared using iodine means iodine means i2 means i and i so if you put iodine so it will react and it will open up so ultimately it resulted in o minus this is the iodide this is o o e t now see this is delta plus because of this iodine fine the interesting point so the overall reaction we should write in this way that half molecule of iodine so in the reaction medium this is produces in c2 and having 50 percent population and this is having 50 percent population so then it will so it produces five so now in terms of iodine this is produces so this it will attack here and it will leave so ultimately what is the product so let's draw it little proper way and in this context i want to suggest you please be careful while drawing and do some practice such that you can draw properly fine this is this is this is the methyl part fine this and here the co2 et thing now this we have prepared means this bond which was our target we have prepared this now question as you can see we don't need this co2h because our target was if we have told that here CO2 ET, here CO2 ET, then fine. But our target is not that. Our target is this. So, how we have to remove this? How we can remove? The strategy is that you can see this is a 1, 3. Carbox CO2 ET means CO, O ET. So, this is a 1, 3 dicarbonyl compound. And another thing, this is a ester. But if we converted it, it into acid, we know that this this is alpha this is beta so beta keto acid can undergo decomposition easily via six member transition state i'm not going to details about that so these undergo decomposition to produce and for that we can use like bases like ck2co3 and heat this because decarboxylation needs heating and this reaction follows a six member cyclic transition state this so i'll explain this in another time Fine. So what happens in this K2CH3 heat condition? We have this our 1,4 dicarbonyl compound dimethyl. Fine. So now the question is how we can convert this uh, dicarbonyl compound into the fuel. So let's let's focus on this part. 
So what we have learned, we have learned about the disconnection approach. Right now, as I told, how this it is converted into fura. I explain with mechanism. Okay. So what I told for this purpose, we need an acid and dehydration reagent. For example, let's take acetic anhydride or phosphoric acid, whatever. Let's take H plus. So what happens? Simple. See, this is a carbonyl compound. And keep it in mind, there is a difference between 1,3 versus 1,4. One, 1,3 one, can undergo ionization very easily, but 1,4 cannot. So this, this, so this H plus will be at a, a form of Lewis acid base atom. So this is OH. This is methyl. This methyl. So this can undergo tautomerization very easily. So equilibrium. This is methyl. This this is the which fine. So like the first one, this second can undergo proton also undergo protonation easily. So if it is, then this is the H plus. Now see this carbonyl, and we know that this carbonyl gets activated after protonation. Means it was electrophile, electron deficient, but after protonation it became more electron deficient. So consequently, intramolecular reaction happens. Means intramolecular, you can say acetal formation type. Alcohol is attaching to carbon. This so actually hemiacetal. I should not say acetal. This is hemiacetal. So this then it resulted in a ring formation. One, two, three, four, five. I suggest you please do practice. Properly, this ring formation, this thing, then you can write in exam hall very efficiently. Otherwise, majority of cases, student do know them, student know this thing, but end up mistake because of practice, because the lack of practice. This is so. This is this OH plus. This is OH. This is methyl. Now see, this step prones to eliminate this proton became O. And in reaction medium is in acidic, like phosphoric acid. If you say, okay, so what happened? It becomes OH two plus in terms of acid. So if it is this, then it can push and it can go. Okay, so this sorry, no double bond here. So this is having O plus double bond. This is the methyl. Now why? What will then instantly it will tautomerize because this is a keto type activated carbonyl, so it will be abstracted. Means this will be abstracted by some base or other molecules in the system, and it will open up. I made mistake. It will come here. It will open up. So this is methyl. This is O. O. This. 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 So our two five dimethyl is pure and is prepared. Now one fundamental question. That is this reaction is that much easy? Means it's a vinyl ether. Is vinyl ether formation that much easy? Question is no. Because logically, if it is easy, then we could have easily got this molecule. What do I mean? Divinyl ether. This is called divinyl ether. Means then what can we take? We can take This can be prepared from this plus this means actually this is from corresponding acetaldehyde. But if you take acetaldehyde and put H plus, what it result? It result beta hydroxy carbonyl. So this is alpha, this is beta hydroxy, beta hydroxy aldehyde. This is alpha. This is beta. So this is and second step it can undergo dehydration under this condition to produce. Means if in under condition this, but not this. Why? Because we know they can undergo alkyl conversion very easily. Means that these site, these vinyl ether formation is not that much easy for acyclic system. See acyclic system. But or you can say aliphatic system. Better word is aliphatic system. But question is, if it is this, why this is happening? Because aromaticity is the driving force. Aromaticity is the driving force. Please keep it in the mind that aromaticity is the driving force. That's why this reaction is happening 
very easily and ultimately resulting in a cyclic ether because this furan is an aromatic heterocyclic moiety. Fine, fine. So let's discuss the second example. Okay, so let's continue the discussion. This is the last part of this example thing. So as you can see, this is far this is known as furfural and this is known as HMF or hydroxymethyl furfural. Hydroxymethyl furfural. HMF. Okay. Actually, this obtained from aramidose, it's a C5 sugar. This obtained from sucrose. So, this is the basic thing in industrial processes for production of furfural. And secondly, if you heat this furfural under influence of catalyst, like so, it resulted in the preparation of furan. Then, if you reduce this furan using hydrogen nickel catalyst, then you may have tetrahydrofuran or THA, very important solvent. So lots of th thing could be done using this. So let's see what is the industrial process of synthesis of furan. How this happens. So if you if you look at the process, then hydro means carbohydrate are polyhydroxy aldehyde or ketone. This is an aldehyde. So means the actual structure is this is a CHO. This is OH. This is OH. One, two, three, four. And this is CH2OH. Fine. This is. So, what happens? These undergo dehydration in presence of acid, mineral acid. Okay. So, what happens? See, this is the alpha, this is the beta. So, this is beta hydroxycarbonate. So, prone for aldol condensate, what happened? In presence of acid, first it converted into proton. Then it leaves. And when it leaves, this H comes and produces alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl so this is so better to say this is CHO this is a double bond now this is OH this is CH2OH fine and here OH so this is actually an enol so ultimately it will instantly convert it into keto so this is keto this this so now this this and so this is the OH and this is CH2OH. See, medium is acidic. There are lots of H+. Plus. So this can undergo protonation. You may say that, sir, this can undergo protonation. Reaction can happen. I agree. But formation of 5-member ring is 5-member and 3-member ring is easier because they have proper conformational orientation. So compared to 6-member, 5-member ring have proper conformational orientation. So formation of this is easier. Although this is ketone, this is aldehyde. Okay, fine. So what happened? This and con consequently, it's a hemiacetal formation happens. So, so first of all, I I should say this protonated species is generated. Then it's open. So what is the product? So this is the CHO. This is OH. This is OH plus. So C one two three four five five member ring. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Always do numbering while you are uh, doing practice in your home. In exam time, you may do or may not do. But I suggest you numbering are always good. If I am your teacher, then I will, if a student make some mistake also and following this numbering method, I will consider that mistake and try to give as maximum as marks I can provide. So, I suggest you please do it. Find this. So, in second step, in second step, so here uh, this is OH and there is one OH. So what in next step happens? See, next step in presence of acid, this will be formed OH2 plus. This first it will be neutralized, then OH2 plus. So it will leave and ultimately it will generate this plus. There is hydrogen. So I have showed this mechanism previously. I am not going to show again. So these will be converted into this. Up to this is fine. Now, in next stage. See, this is also, actually this is alpha, this is beta, this is gamma. Okay. So, in terms of acid, this will also undergo OH2 plus formation. Then it will leave and produce a positive charge here. 
how this positive charge is stabilized stabilized by the conjugation of this double bond what do i mean this is a cho this this is the oh this and double bond will come here positive charge is here and that is again resonance stabilized so if, if i can do draw the canonical form this this i always suggest you please practice this resonance very well okay this this so what can happen first of all in this structure you can show some molecule will abstract this but i suggest you here this carbon is six electron species sextet so this is less stable but here in this case this is also six electron but this for this canonical from every atom is octet fit so contribution of this is expected to be better so question how what can happen water molecule in the medium so what it can abstract and it will come here it will come here it will open so what is the product so then the product is five member let's draw the furan part and i'll be high past five in the cho five this is the cho see one double bond here one this this we have told that this is for furan so preparation of for furan is confirmed now see about the sucrose sucrose is a keto sugar similarly reaction will follow similar track but difference is that it has an extra carbon and extra carbon will remain as this ch2h at the end so ultimately this will produce this is the same thing okay so this is and a one important information i want to give you because so see right now nowadays we are very much worried about plastic so what is the future how and second right now plastic is prepared i'll make a dedicated video if you want please make in the comment in the comment box plastic how make plastic chemistry of plastic so that is terephthalic acid so this this is terephthalic acid ethylene glycol this plastics are made as pet bottle poly ethylene terephthalate keep the name in mind you will be easier So it's a polymer of this. Actually, it's a ester polymer. So this obtained from petroleum. If we ethylene glycol, we can obtain from biological source like from ethanol. We can dehydrate to ethylene. We can hydro water add means two hydroxyl group could be added ethylene to ethylene glycol. Easy, fine. How to get substitute? And substitute is this moiety. This. how you can have this you can have from here to here see this is one carbon this is one carbon so if you do oxidation under control condition you may have this and you can react this and this to prepare a bio derived plastic so this is one another discussion so what we have learned today we have learned about the pal of synthesis for the preparation of furan the pal and nor they are separate scientists two scientists so preparation furan from one for dichromal compound mechanism retrosynthesis approach three examples and the driving force for this reaction so thank you everyone for listening if these videos are really useful for you then please help me to grow my channel first of all please subscribe my channel and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video i upload secondly share this video among your friends such that many people could be benefited and this is a very much satisfactory thing for me and thirdly and most importantly please like the video and make some good comment because your like and comment is the biggest achievement for me so thank you again see you in my next video